Pending is the reminder notice. Reminder notice. Reminder notice to the customer. To the customer. For their outstanding amount. For their outstanding amount. The next line noted down. Next line noted down. Otto, please go on mute. Otherwise, I can remove from the class, my dear friend. Don't disturb other, my dear friend, please. Next line, next line. Please, please, my dear friend. Not it, next line, note it down. Next line, note it down. Like one para, like that, you can note it down. When the customer, when the customer, next line, paragraph like that, you can note it down. When the customer, miss the payment, miss the payment, Hare Krishna, I forgot to start the recording. From tomorrow onwards, we'll remind you, sir. <laughs> no, I know because no, no, we started, started. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, we started, no problem. Um where where you sit? Where you are standing? Yeah, when the customer hmm. miss the payment, uh, miss the payment for outstanding invoice, miss the payment in outstanding invoice, within the specified payment due date, within the specified payment due date, the dunning letter the dunning letter is generated via sap program Oh yeah, SAP program. Note it down. Next line. Dunning configuration FBMP. Dunning run F1150. Dunning run F150. Dunning run F150. Everyone, I will ask one question. Like uh, APP configuration, what is the T code? FBZP. FBZP. Now, Dunning configuration is the FBMP. Please remember. Like uh, APP configuration, FBZP. Dunning configuration, FBMP. And uh, APP run? F110. APP run? F110 and Dunning run is the F150. Please remember for simple way. Here F110, here F150, here FBM ZP and here FBMP. Okay, like that. You can easily remember. And here majorly our configuration steps is and one is. Uh, 
डिफाइन डनिंग एरिया दिस इज ऑप्शनल स्टेप देन डिफाइन डनिंग प्रोसीजर procedure and uh, create customer master and uh, post customer invoice and uh, hi krishna and uh, post example a uh, dunning run dunning run dunning run f110 so this is the configuration we want to do everyone i will tell you one thing everyone i will tell you one thing don't write first reason first reason what happened what happened here basically our standard procedure is first we will post customer invoice first first we will post customer invoice so based on the payment term based on the payment term customer invoice will calculate the due date based on the payment term invoice will showing the due date when we want to receive the payment from the customer in case in case customer will give the payment simply you can post the customer payment customer payment if customer will give the payment as per the due date you can post the customer payment in case in case customer will not give customer will not give the payment as per the invoice due date then we want to give the notice to specific customer so this is the this much outstanding and you have to give so please provide the like uh, you know payment and all means we are giving one letter generally we are write the emails right generally we are writing the emails instead of email we will send one letter to customer for their specific outstanding amount specific outstanding amount okay so maybe you got my point basically what happened everyone let's try to understand the flow actually let's try to understand the flow post we will mainly we will configure dunning procedure mainly we configure dunning procedure dunning procedure so this dunning procedure we are going to assign where we are going to assign in the customer master data dunning procedure we are going to assign in the customer master data customer master data based on the customer master data we want to post the customer invoice we want to post customer invoice customer invoice based on the customer master data we need to post customer invoice against of customer invoice in case customer will give the payment simply you can post the customer payment in case customer will give the payment simply you can post the customer payment customer payment then you not required dunning notice dunning run and everything you are not required in case customer is not giving the payment customer is not giving the payment what we want to do we need to send the notice we need to send the notice to specific customer for what purpose for the invoice outstanding amount purpose invoice outstanding amount purpose invoice outstanding amount purpose we will run the dunning run means we will generate the notice reminder notice to the customer for their outstanding amount 
this is the procedure. Better, can you note it down this? Note it down. Then noted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then, let's start the configuration. The first step is define learning area. This is the optional configuration. If you do this step or if you do not do, no problem. And uh, your main configuration from start from the learning procedure. So how to do learning procedure and all? We will very simple, everyone. Very simple. So you can tell in the interview, I only do the Dunning configuration. I only tested in the development system, quality system. After that, I take an approval from the client. Then we can move to the production. Very simple, whatever things I'm explaining, same thing you can. You can explain this flow. You can explain this flow to the interview. Then they will 100% do the job. When everything, there is a one flow, configuration flow. Configuration to two reports. One flow is there. That flow you have to explain. Okay. The first one is called defined learning area. Let's open SAP. Let's open SAP. Then click on your logon. Then enter username and password. Yeah. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Concentrate here. So the path is go to SPRO, enter SAP reference IMG. Select here financial accounting new. And accounts receivable and payable. And a business transaction here, Dunning. And here, basic setting for Dunning. And here, define Dunning area. Can you please note it down the path? Can you please note it down the path, everyone? Why? Because some people is going to confuse here. The path is SPRO. SPRO, like SAP reference IMG, financial accounting new, accounts receivable and payable, business transaction, 
SPRO, SAP Reference IMG, SAP Reference IMG, Financial Accounting New, Accounts Receivable and Payable, Business Transaction, Dunning, Dunning, Basic Dunning, I mean Basic Dunning for Basic settings for Dunning, Basic setting for Dunning, Define Dunning Area, Define Dunning Area. So you just double click on this execute button, everyone. Let's see my screen, everyone. Let's see my screen. You just double click on this execute button. Everyone, very important, my dear friends. Double click on define dunning area. And click on your new entry. Press enter. And here you can set up your company code. What is your company code? Example, my company code is called IM10. Then Dunning area. Here you can set up up to four digit. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. You can set up any. Okay. Uh, example, I am set up here uh, IM uh, AR. Oh, sorry, here it will allow only two digit everyone. Up to two digit. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. I am set up here IA. I am Dunning area, Dunning area, press enter, enter again, then save, enter again, enter again, then save, and go back. Now, Dunning procedure, Dunning procedure. Everyone, can you please note it on one note, everyone? Please note it on one note. Please note it on one note, everyone. In the Dunning procedure, in the Dunning procedure, note it on one note, in the Dunning procedure, We need to configure four objectives or five objectives. Five objectives. Note it down step by step. Note it down step by step. First one, general data. First one, general data. Second one, Dunning level. Second one, Dunning level. Third one, Dunning charges. Third one, Dunning charges. Fourth one, Dunning amount. Sorry, Dunning minimum amount. Dunning minimum amount. And fifth one is called Dunning text. Fifth one is called Dunning text. Dunning text. Can anyone please read the note? What you noted? Anyone, please? In the Dunning procedure, we need to create five objectives. First one, General data, second one, Dunning levels, third one, Dunning charges, fourth one, Dunning minimum amounts, fifth one, Dunning texts. Dunning text. Everyone, in the Dunning procedure, here we need to configure five objectives. Five objectives. See, this objective also you want to tell the interview. In the Dunning procedure, we want to proceed five objectives. General data, like... Uh, Levels and charges, minimum amount and text. This is the five steps you have to achieve. So this Dunning procedure, you are you want to assign with customer master data. Based on customer master data, we will post the invoice. 
like based on the invoice, if the customer will give the payment, not required the dunning notice. In case customer is not giving the payment, customer is not giving the payment, that time we want to make the, we want to send the notice, reminder notice. Reminder notice to the customer. <clears throat> note it down one, put the star and note it down. Interview question actually it is. Put the star and note it down. Maximum, maximum, we will send nine, nine dunning notices, including legal notice. Maximum, we will send nine dunning notices, including legal notice. Minimum one, two, three, four, whatever you want. Maximum nine, including legal. Minimum one, two, three, four, whatever you want. Okay. Sir, can you please repeat once again that one last point? Maximum. Anyone? Anyone? Please. Maximum we will send nine dunning notices, including legal notice. Including one legal notice. Minimum as your as the client wishes. One, two, three, four, like that. Asri Salem, how are you, my dear friend? Sri Salem, are you there? Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, everyone, let it be. Now, my 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 target is everyone. My target is I want to define the dunning procedure. I want to define the dunning procedure. Example, everyone, example, example, I am, I am Vipro employee. Example, I am Vipro employee as a consultant, as a consultant. So you are implementing, you are implementing I am group of company. I am group of company. So who is this I am group of company? I am group of companies, your client. So, and in the IM group of company, there is one responsible person. There is an end user, super user, core users. I will explain who is the end user, who is the super user, who is the core user during the project. I mean, implementation project and supporting project. That time I will explain. And uh, basically, as a consultant, you want to collect the information from your client. You want to collect the information from your client. Then you have to do the configuration. So maximum, how many letters you want to generate? Maximum nine. Below nine, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever, including one legal notice. And uh, what is the grass period? Grass period means after completion of invoice due date. Everyone, concentrate here. What is the grass period? Grass period means after completion of invoice due date, how many days you can wait to send the notice? How many days after completion of invoice due date, how many days you can wait to send the notice? Like that, mean next one, like uh, dunning intervals. Dunning intervals means like first notice to second notice, how many days you can wait? Second notice to third notice, how many days you can wait? Third notice to fourth notice, how many days you can wait? Like interval, interval. Like this type of information, whatever configure we are doing here now, first you can ask, you can note it down one email to your client. You can ask the details from your client. Then you can start your configuration five steps configuration you have to do. 
One is general data, Dunning level, Dunning charges, Dunning minimum amount, and Dunning text. These five objectives you have to do. Very simple, my dear friends. Very simple and sweet. Let's see how we can generate one notice in the SAP. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Very simple, everyone. So, this is defined dunning procedure. T code is called FB. Anyone? FB? MP. MP. FB, MP. Madhya Pradesh. Or um, Madhapur. Whatever. M FB, MP. You can. Remember like that, okay? Otherwise, you can come this path also. You can come this path also. Sorry, path also. Financial accounting, new accounts receivable and payable, business transaction, dunning, dunning procedure, and uh, here, define dunning procedure. This is the path. Otherwise, you can go to T code also. And here, you just double click on dunning procedure. Everyone, very important, my dear friends, very important. And click on your new entry. Here you have to do the configuration. So I'm repeating one second for my satisfaction. I'm repeating one second. Come to this part, financial SPRO, SAP reference IMG, financial accounting new, accounts receivable and payable, business transaction, dunning, Dunning procedure, define Dunning procedure. De define Dunning procedure. Okay. So you just double click on uh, define Dunning procedure. Click on your new entry. Click on your new procedure. Set up here up to six digit and write the description. Set up here up to six digit and write the description. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Uh, up to six, uh, maybe five digit it will allow. You can enter four digit for your understanding. For example, I am DP. I am DP. What is that? I am not WhatsApp DP. Okay, it's a dunning procedure. Not in WhatsApp DP, it's a dunning procedure. Okay, so dunning procedure. Dunning procedure. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. First one here, here. Line item grass period. Line item grass period. Line item grass period means of based on the payment term. Payment term is the calculate invoice due date. After completion of invoice due date, how many days you will wait? for sending the dunning notice. For example, today is a due date. Tomorrow, we don't want to send the notice. We need to wait some days. We need to wait some, we want to give some time. Why? Because that is the business, right? Immediately, we don't want to send the notice. You can ask your client. Even uh, if, you, if you do credit card payments, we are doing credit card payments now. They will give you one due date. We want to do the payments. In case if you do next day, the fine will not come. They can give one day grass period. For example, my due date is 15. Even you can pay 16. They will make as a late fee, but they don't want to charge anything. That is the grass period. They can wait. After that, they will make as a some charges. So grass period means waiting time. Example, I can example my con company wait for three days. Three days. Okay. And uh, number of dunning levels. Number of dunning levels. So maximum system will generate nine dunning notices. Nine, including one legal notice. But you can ask on based on the client information, you can maintain four, three, two, five, whatever. Example, I am set up here four dunning notices. Maximum nine. Based on your client information, you can set up 
वन नंबर फोर नोटिस फाइव नोटिस सिक्स नोटिस हाउ मच द क्लाइंट इज रिक्वाइड द नेक्स्ट डनिंग इंटरवेल डेज डनिंग इंटरवेल डेज मीन वन सेकेंड एवरी वन आई विल हैव सम Dunning interval days means first notice to second notice. How many days you want to wait? Second notice to third notice. How many days you want to wait? Like like that waiting time between first notice to second notice, second notice to third notice, like that. Example: I can wait ten days. First, I will send one notice. Then I can wait ten days for second notice. Again, ten days for third notice like that. Then click on here standard transaction dunning. Press enter. Enter again. So I, I'm I'm repeating one second, everyone. My my satisfaction purpose here line item grass period means how many days you can wait after completing the due date. then uh, like i mean number of dunning like levels means number of dunning levels means how many dunning notices you want to send to your customer and uh, dunning interval days means how many days you can wait after sending the notice first notice to second notice how many days you can wait second notice to third notice how many days you can wait like that okay this is the general doc Then click on your dunning levels. Dunning levels means how many levels? Four levels. First notice, second notice, third notice, and fourth notice. So if you click on your dunning levels, dunning levels here, first notice, second notice, third notice, and fourth notice. If I want to send first notice, I want to wait three days. After completion of due date, I want to wait three days. Grass period. first notice to second notice 10 days i will wait second notice to third notice again 10 days third notice to fourth notice again 10 days then print items print dunning print all dunnings then always done for each transaction okay always done press enter then charges For example, everyone, what is meant by charges? Currency, I am not. For example, for example, customer outstanding amount, customer outstanding amount, thousand rupees. Example, otherwise one lakh rupees. Customer outstanding amount one lakh rupees. So if I send a notice, I want to spend some expenses, like courier expenses, some. some expenses i have to do na so even that expenses also i can collect from the customer so you are outstanding amount plus my dunning expenses any other expenses like courier charges our employee uh, working ex expenses some paper expenses we need to give the print example for the expenses is for 500 Means totally how much we can is equal to this plus this. Totally I can collect one lakh five hundred. This is called invoice due date. This is called dunning charges. Dunning charges per first notice. You have to pay this much amount. You have to pay this much amount. So even this amount, don't take your own decision. You can ask your client. how much charge you can collect if you send first notices if you send second notices like that so first notice second notice third notice and fourth notice for the first notice i can collect 500 rupees second notice 550 third notice 600 and fourth notice 650 like this i can collect the charges if you pay after first notice this much charges after second notice this much charges our total outstanding amount plus these charges okay the next one press enter 
next one minimum amount next one is called minimum amount example everyone example minimum amount everyone concentrate here one two three four four notices here minimum amount here i am entering here thousand rupees what happened here it means in case your customer outstanding amount less than thousand rupees dunning notices cannot generate more than thousand rupees dunning notices can generate for example here if i enter 2000 what happened 2000 2000 like that 2000 2000, 2000. what happened here it means if the customer outstanding amount less than 2000 dunning notices cannot generate more than 2000 dunning notices can generate okay then press enter again so you can ask your client minimum amount how much minimum how much outstanding amount is required to send the notice to customer send the notice to customer okay and press enter then dunning text like text means what is the header data what is the footer data what is the information you required you dunning text everyone something is difficult here understood here listen listen careful click on your dunning text and company code uh, i am 10 okay and uh, click on your example go to im10 in case if it is not there click on your new entry click on your new entry and okay and here you can enter separate notice for per dunning level save and save And here you go. You want to assign the dunning text actually. What is this? Minimum amount it's showing. Go back. One is general data, dunning levels, dunning charges, and minimum amount, minimum amount, and dunning text. Dunning text. So here you want to maintain the dunning text. One, two, three, four. Here you have to assign standard format. Here you have to assign standard format. Even sometime interviewer will ask the question, what is that standard dunning notice format? So here you can select, click on your browse. And uh, here dunning form. Which language you want? English means EN. And uh, different, different languages is here. So you can select English. So this is the standard format, everyone. F150 underscore BE underscore DENN underscore 01. This is the program, actually. Standard format program. You can give all the like uh, remaining things. Press Enter. Then save go back and save everyone for my satisfaction i will repeat once again just for two minutes okay and i am dp set up here any four digit and write the description and uh, grass period how many days you can wait then how many dunning notices you want maximum nine so how many client want how many days you want to wait one notice to another notice then click on your standard transaction press enter and save then here dunning levels one two three four always done always print print all the next one dunning charges how much charges you want okay the next one is called minimum amount how much outstanding amount minimum how much outstanding amount required for the customers 
then next one is called dunning text dunning text click on your save and back okay so guys if you have any other doubts please note it down aside i can give you time to ask the doubts okay so next one next step next step is create customer master data create customer master data so during the customer master data we want to assign this dunning procedure so this dunning procedure you want to assign in the customer master data what is my dunning procedure my dear friends i am dp dp very good so this i am dp you want to assign in the customer master data okay everyone knows how to create the customer everyone knows how to post customer invoice but once again you can see and enjoy everyone knows now how to create the customer how to post customer invoice but once again you can see and enjoy okay let's create the customer so i will ask one question what is the t code for customer creation fd 0 very good for customer invoice posting fd 70 70 for dunning in case in case customer is giving the payment in case if the customer is give the payment then not required dunning notice what is the customer payment t code F dash twenty eight. F dash twenty eight. You can post the custom. In case he is not giving the payment, Hare Krishna, he is not giving the payment. So what can I do? Yeah, I want to send dunning notice. Very simple. Try to understand the business. Try to understand the business. In case if you have the business, customer is not giving the payment. What you will do? You want to send the notice. That's it. Simple terminology. SAP is very easy, but something is lengthy. I agree for that. SAP is something lengthy. I agree for that. But this is not not a ocean. It is not a river. It is not a ocean. Not like that. In case anyone say like that, it is a ocean. It is river. Just throw out the river. Throw out the ocean. Don't fear, my dear friends. for the subject point of view i am here okay so be practice be practice okay so <clears throat> let it be let's create customer master and post customer invoice then run dunning notices so in case any doubts please note it down aside then i can give time to ask the doubts okay lot of time huh? let it be when i have the calls yeah so let's go to the code fd01 the better way assign uh, to the existing customer sir i mean if i assign existing one maybe you people some people will going to confuse okay better create new one okay so if i assign existing one maybe some people will going to confuse na some people the people will came different different institutes maybe they learn or not i don't know let it be be patient okay please <clears throat> yeah everyone and uh, accounts group accounts group is uh, i am uh, something i am domestic i am domestic customer then company code i am 10 then press enter ye kaam ye roke hum hare krishna so here you can enter customer accounts group then company code click on your okay so here you can write the customer name example uh, dn private limited dn private limited such term dn pl1 address located in sr nagar sr nagar 
and house number 567890 and post box 53026 Hyderabad country India region 01 and uh, anyone staying in SR Nagar? Anyone? Sir. Who is he? Ravi Gande Ravi sir. Huh? Ravi sir. Ravi, yeah. Very good. Very good, Ravi. Basically, Amir Pet uh, will give to learn lot many things. Amir Pet to America. So, a lot of stories is there. Amir Pet to America. A lot sir, of people sir, sir. learning software in Amir Pet, they went for America. But everyone, my suggestion is, my best suggestion is, if you learn proper subject in SAP, not required to go any country. Better do the job in India. This is my personal suggestion. Not required to go any other country. Why, why you want to go other country? Why not India? If you earn 10 lakh rupees salary in America, if you earn 2 lakhs, 2 lakh rupees salary in India, same to same. So, my dear students, not required to go any other country. My suggestion is stay in India. Enjoy your motherland. Enjoy with your family. Okay. Enjoy with your friends. Don't go anywhere. Here only stay. Learn good subject. Get good job. Enjoy your life. Okay. Say yes or no. Yes, Venkata. Yes, 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 very much. Yes, sir. So everyone, enter these basic details. Click on your company code. If you already went, then fine. Very good. Okay. Press enter. So this address we already maintained for some other customer. Click on your OK. Then reconciliation account. Domestic customer. Start key 0, 3, 1. Cash management A1. And payment transaction, triple zero one. And correspondence here, everyone. Correspondence here, you need to assign Dunning procedure. What is your Dunning procedure, everyone? What we created? IMDP. IMDP. Very good. Press enter and save. That's it here. Dunning procedure. Here you have to assign. Click on your save. Okay. Everyone, I mean, before uh, going to this, and I will tell you one thing, everyone. Uh, wherever you go, I mean, whatever you want to achieve, but don't forget your family. Don't forget your motherland. Okay. Do something about uh, for your country. Okay. And for your family, especially. And uh, your brothers, sisters, mother, father, everyone. I will tell you one thing. Uh, be, keep it on your mind. Keep it on your mind. All the people, everyone, concentrate here, everyone. All the people cannot think same way. Some people will think different ways. Maybe your thoughts, your family, their thoughts may be not equal. They will think different manner. You can think different manners. Something disturbance is coming. But as a responsible person, whenever if they are in problems, keep aside all your egos. Like uh, you can help your brothers, sisters, and you be a support, be a backbone of your family, be a backbone of your family. Even all the problems, see, 
even me and my brothers have some problems i am truly telling but whenever my term will come 100% i will, i can bear why because why problem will come means like everyone cannot think only one way different people will think different ways maybe my thoughts and their thoughts will not equal that is the reason some disturbances come in but be my students also be an a responsible person when you are getting good job when you are earn 1 lakh rupees to 2 lakh rupees salary be support your family that is my personal request my students always be an a responsible person okay so do hard work get good job then support your family be a backbone of your family that is my intention okay do hard work hard work help your family even respect your parents maybe their thought is different even though you can respect even though you can fulfill your responsibilities even <clears throat> if you if you listen ramayan and uh, uh, in war like uh, in sri lanka war like suddenly lakshmana will get down some anuma will bring some sanjay that is a different thing rama said one thing if i for example rama said one i am unable to remember like uh, rama said uh, for example if that one is die rama will not call anyone as a brother like he is the best brother actually i am unable to pronounce convey my words maybe can i can i help you sir yeah please go ahead yeah uh, if sita is dead i can marry another woman but lakshmana is dead i cannot have a brother of uh, of my own yes so everyone so maybe your family member status is different but you can support them you can help them okay say yes or no yes or no Okay. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sure. Thousand sure. uh, percent sure, sir. My students is always great. Let it be. So let's post uh, customer invoice. Let's post customer invoice and uh, customer invoice FB seventy. Let's take some old date. Don't take today date. Let's take some old date. Okay. Previous date you can do. Go and mute everyone. Go to FB seventy. And uh, check your company code. I am one zero. Click on your OK. Then customer. and uh, who is the customer uh, dn private limited then document date post document date maybe you can take some old date everyone take some old date uh, i am taking fifth date and being customer invoice posting and here you can take any income gl even sales also one of the income purchases one of the expenses okay so here you can take any income and uh, commission received tap tap 1 lakh rupee salary I mean, sorry 1 lakh rupee invoice value and uh, business area business area then profit center and press center enter again warning message ignore it then copy this amount control c and paste it here enter again then click on your simulate
and post. here go to document and display everyone uh, everyone better uh, who not watch balagam movie you can go and watch balagam okay everyone must watch balagam movie everyone it's a telugu language movie Better you can watch. So this is the accounting element. Okay. So this is the invoice posting. In case customer will give the payment, customer will give the payment. So you can post the payment. In case customer is not giving the payment, then you want to run Dunning run. You want to generate the notice to the customer. So what is the T code? T code is called F150. This is the T code. F150. Okay. And everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Concentrate here. Now I am issue. I want to issue the Dunning notice to my customer. So go to F150. Press enter. See how look like Dunning. It is similar to F110. Similar way to F110. One tab is not there actually. Print out data medium, something is not there. Remaining things same to same. Look like APP run, status bar, parameters, pre selections, additional log like that. F150, Dunning run. And now here uh, you can give today date. What is the today date? 12, 12, 04. 20, 23, identification, you can set up here up to six digit. I'm giving IM D01. And uh, you here you can give the date, today date, set up here up to six digit. And click on your parameters. Then uh, Dunning date, example today date. And the document up to today date, company code I am one zero. Then the customer here you have to take customer. In case if you want to give multiple customers, then select here multiple selection. You can give all the customer numbers from what whoever you need to send the notices now. That customer numbers you have to give here. And this is the one, everyone. Dates, company code, and customers. Click on your free selection. Yes. Then schedule. Start immediately. Then run. And press enter, 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 enter. So now it's running mode. Enter, enter, enter until complete. And click on your printout, Dunning printout. Yes, print. Press enter, 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 enter until complete. See here, Dunning printout is completed. Then go to history here, Dunning history. Then give it here your company code IM10, then execute. So this is the line item we'll go into display. So select this, select this line item, select this line item, click on your display dunning notice. Print to preview. So this is the dunning notice. This is the customer. Come down. This is the Dunning notices, everyone. 
first dunning letter this is the invoice listed below due to i mean due for the payment okay so this is the invoice invoice number invoice date invoice amount plus dunning charges 500 same thing i am maintaining the configuration dunning charges yes sir yes, yes sir Yes. So plus total amount, total amount of due items, one lakh five hundred. So this is the first notice actually. This is the notice. Okay. This notice you have to send to your customer. Okay. And go to text directly. You can send uh, email. Send email. Okay. In the real time, there is a net and everything they will. Take. Otherwise, you can print. It will come to the print. Then you can fold, set up in the cover, send a courier like that. All the details will come, like invoice number, invoice date, invoice amount, due date. When you have immediate payment, now immediate payment actually. Invoice date and due date, immediate payment. How many days is little seven days? Okay, like this. all the details will come. Just send. Now, time to ask the doubts. Sir, yeah. what is the use of creating the Dunning area? Dunning area is optional just for the supporting configuration like that. You can, you can don't configure that one also, no problem. That's optional. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sir, one more doubt. In real mm -hmm. time, if they, uh, for this Dunning, do they charge in interest, sir? Basically, interest they are not follow. They can give the charges. Okay, you can contact your client and they will suggest the how much amount you want to charge. Okay, okay, thank you. Sir, in our company, one of our supplier charges uh, interest. They don't say as it is running charges, but they say interest. They charge it if we delay any payment. Okay, okay. In the place of interest here, you can set up charges. Okay, better my suggestion. Okay. What is the first letter goes, sir? After suppose uh, the invoice uh, is due on first January for payment. So after, uh, uh, on tenth January the first notice goes, right? Basically, there is a grass period, na, sir. Yeah, yeah. After due date, you want to wait grass period, three days okay. or four days. Okay. Next day, you need to send the notice. Okay. Any other doubts? Sir, is it related with the payment term also? Like the pay yeah, yes, yes. Payment term will calculating the invoice due date. Based on the due date, we after based on the due date, we need to send the earning notices. We have different different payment term, individual payment term, installment payment term, discount payment term. Different, different. Yes. In payment term, we learn in FICO class. Maybe some FICO tutorials, they will explain Dunning also. Yeah, you can. Maybe, maybe. Any others? Sir, for yeah. second Thanks. Uh, Ram Krishna ji, bolo, bolo. Sir, for second Dunning, we need to run. Uh, as usual, next, based on the date, na, next time you can run, based on the date, it automatically will generate it. Second okay. one. Okay. So, sir, sir, Satya, this is I have the one doubt, please. Mm -hmm. so, sir, please. based on the based on the customer payment terms, we are maintaining the different dunning procedures. Uh, can I assign to the customer? Yeah, you can. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining. Let's meet tomorrow with a new topic. Thank you.